Factoring quadratic expressions, case 1. Expressions with a equal to 1. Recall, a quadratic expression has the form ax squared plus bx plus c. If a is equal to 1, then our expression can be simplified now to the form x squared plus bx plus c. This is the form that we will work with for the following factoring examples. To factor a nice expression of this form, we must answer a pair of related questions. For the expression x squared plus bx plus c, are there any pairs of integers whose product is equal to c and whose sum is equal to b? Note that c is the constant term, and we're looking for two numbers whose product is equal to c, and b is the coefficient on x, and we are looking for those values whose product is c to also have a sum of b. If we can find a pair of numbers m and n that answer both of these questions, then we can say that x squared plus bx plus c is equal to x plus m times x plus n. Recall that for polynomial multiplication, we would get that x times x is x squared, and then x times n is nx, m times x is mx, and m times n is m times n. Arranging these, we would find that mx plus nx would need to be bx, and mn would need to be c. Here is an example of how we will carry out this factoring process. For x squared plus 5x plus 6, we know that our factors will each begin with x. Therefore, we begin by writing down two factors with empty spaces. So x plus blank times x plus blank will eventually be our factors. Next, we note that we need two values whose product is 6. Therefore, we will make a list of all the pairs of numbers whose product is 6. In this case, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, negative 1 and negative 6, negative 2 and negative 3. Now, we need those numbers, or one of those pairs of numbers, to have a sum of 5, the coefficient on the x. Taking the sum of all those pairs, we find that 1 and 6 have a sum of 7. 2 and 3 have a sum of 5. Negative 1 and negative 6 have a sum of negative 7. And negative 2 and negative 3 have a sum of negative 5. Since we want our sum to be 5, we now know that the pair 2 and 3 have the product of 6 and the sum of 5 that we want. Taking those values, we will now plug them into the blank spaces in our factors. It's important to note that the order in which we place them does not matter. So here we have x plus 2 and x plus 3. You could also have written it as x plus 3 and x plus 2. So now we know that x squared plus 5x plus 6 has factors of x plus 2 and x plus 3, and that the product of x plus 2 and x plus 3 needs to be x squared plus 5x plus 6. Let's consider a second example. For x squared minus 7x plus 12, we again begin, we again begin by writing down two factors with blanks, each beginning with an x. Next, we note that we want two numbers whose product is 12, so we make a list of all the pairs of numbers whose product is 12. In this case, 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4, negative 1 and negative 12, negative 2 and negative 6, negative 3 and negative 4. Note that we're looking for pairs of positive numbers and also pairs of negative numbers because we need to find an appropriate pair and sometimes the sum, as we see in this case, is a negative number. In this case we want a sum of negative 7. Adding up all our pairs we obtain that 1 and 12 have a sum of 13, 2 and 6 a sum of 8, 3 and 4 a sum of 7, negative 1 and negative 12 a sum of negative 13, 
negative two and negative six, a sum of negative eight, negative three and negative four, a sum of negative seven. Since we're looking for our sum to be negative seven, the pair negative three and negative four fit our needs. Note their product is 12 and their sum is negative seven. Plugging those values into the parentheses, we have x plus negative three and x plus negative four. We can simplify that since plus a minus is really a minus. And we can say that our factors are x minus three and x minus four. So the product of these two binomial factors is x squared minus seven x plus 12. And so we have factored our quadratic expression. Third example, for x squared minus 3x minus 28, again, we write down our two sets of parentheses with the x beginning at each of those parentheses, representing our factors and leaving room for the numbers at the end. We note our product needs to be negative 28, and so we list all the pairs of numbers whose product is negative 28. We note we need a sum of negative 3, so we want to know which of those pairs has a sum of negative 3. Adding up the numbers in each pair, we note that since we want a total of negative 3, the pair of 4 and negative 7 have the total, the sum, that we want, and the product, negative 28, that we want. We then place those values into the parentheses, getting x plus negative 7 and x plus 4. Again, the order doesn't matter. We could have written it as x plus 4 and x plus negative 7. Plus a minus is a minus, so our factors are x minus 7 and x plus 4. And so x squared minus 3x minus 28 equals x minus 7 times x plus 4. In conclusion, the factors x plus m and x plus n, if they are the factors of x squared plus bx plus c, if and only if m times n gives us c and m plus n gives us b.